Hi there. In this video, we're going to be looking at the performance of an Excel function written in VBA, uh, and we'll compare that to the same function, still called in Excel, uh, but written in Python. We'll then have a look at how the performance can be improved even further uh, using the Python package number. This video was inspired by a blog on the Newton Excel back site, uh, and in this blog he does the same comparison, uh, and I'll leave the link in the, in the comments below. Uh, have a look at the blog posts, especially if you're into, into using Excel for science and engineering and that kind of stuff, uh, and I think you'll find it quite interesting. What I'm going to do is write a function in VBA to determine if a number is prime or not, uh, and then see how long that takes to calculate in Excel. Uh, and then we'll see how the same function written in Python uh, can run almost 100 times faster. So to begin with, uh, I've got a sheet prepared already, which just has some input values uh, and a calculated value here, which is using this is prime VBA function. Uh, so if I open up the VBA editor here, uh, we can see here this uh, this function here is determining whether the the number's prime or not. Now this is a fairly naive algorithm, like there's more complicated algorithms we could use to do this faster. Uh, but for our purposes, this is fine because we can rewrite it in Python and really we're just looking to see uh, roughly like how much faster things are going to be using Python rather than VBA. Obviously, what I always suggest when doing this kind of work is that you time everything, uh, don't start optimizing things before you actually understand where the time's taking. Uh, but this will give us kind of a, a nice idea just for a, a very, very simple function. So. Uh, oh, another thing I should mention is that when you're timing stuff in Excel, always make sure you close the VBA editor because having the VBA editor open uh, actually really messes with the, the timings of things and causes the VBA code to run a lot slower. So that wouldn't be a, a fair comparison. So I'll, I'll close that now. For the, for the Python part of this video, uh, we'll use Pixel. Uh, Pixel is an Excel add-in that lets you run Python code in Excel. Uh, it effectively lets you write your own Excel add-ins using nothing but Python code. Uh, if you go to the website www.pixelpyxll.com, uh, you can find out all about it there and, and download it. And uh, there's videos on, on how to get started and, and that kind of stuff, so I won't cover that in this video. Uh, and also to be able to time the functions, if you uh, go to the Pixel website and just search for profile, that kind of thing, you'll find a blog post that I wrote a while ago about how to profile code in Excel. Uh, and that includes a couple of timers, which I'm going to use to actually time how long things are taking. So we'll, we'll see that in a second. But uh, like I say, if you, if you go through the blog post, you'll, you'll have everything in there. So what I've got in this sheet here is that is prime VBA function. And I'm just calling it for a number of input values. So uh, I've just done 500, so not too many, but enough for us to uh, to get some reasonable timings. Uh, just this function is just returning true or false depending on whether the number's prime or not. And then here I've just got the the count of where is prime is is true. So if I recalculate this, then we'll see. I don't know if you saw it down the bottom there, but you see it calculates. It just takes like you know a second, a bit under maybe, uh, and so it's calculating quite fast. What I've got here in this profiling tools, which again is from that, that other blog post, uh, is an option to calculate the time that it takes to uh, calculate the sheet. And if I run that, it calculates the sheets a few times to get like an average of how long it takes. Uh, and then it's telling us here that to calculate this sheet with these primes, uh, it took about 360 milliseconds. So, uh, so that's kind of our, our baseline. And we're going to see uh, how much faster or slower that is using Python. Now to write the same function in Python, uh, I'm using the pixel add-in and I'm going to use the uh, pixel Jupyter option here to actually open a Jupyter notebook inside of Excel. Uh, I'll create a, a new notebook for this. And uh, I'll just paste in some code which I prepared earlier, uh, but this is doing the same calculation that we did in, in VBA just to calculate whether uh, a number's prime or not. It's doing the same thing of getting the square root and uh, iterating over it, that kind of thing. So we can try this out now, uh, just calling it here. So we can say uh, is prime pi, uh, pick one from here. So maybe pick this 11 and no surprise returns true. So that's all working fine. Uh, what I want to do now is call that from Excel so we can directly compare the timings. What I'll do for that is say uh, from pixel import Excel func and then add this Excel func decorator to the function here, which tells uh, tells Pixel that we want this to be exposed as a, a Python function. So I'll create a new sheet now. Just call this 
Python with the same input numbers, uh, only this time the output is going to be using this is prime pi function. So I'll pass that in there, I'll drop that down, and let's just add that count in just to make sure that that's all working. So yep, 95 there is the same as the 95 we've got there, so that all seems to be working. And then uh, what we'll do now is just run that time to calculate sheets thing again. And there we can see that's now running in 33 milliseconds. So already that's like a, a 10 times improvement on what we had with VBA. Uh, let me just uh, paste those timings here so we can, so we've got them. So 33 milliseconds there, and let's do the VBA one again, just so we've got that. Takes a bit longer, so yeah, 350 that time. So 350 versus 33 is pretty good, uh, but I think we can get that down uh, even further. To speed this code up, uh, I'm not interested in changing the algorithm because I want to keep it exactly the same as, as the VBA one, uh, but what I'm going to show you is a package called number, uh, which is a, a JIT compiler that will take the Python code and then uh, JIT compile it so that it runs much, much faster. Uh, and we'll see how that works with, with this function. So I'll take, take this function, create a copy of it, I'll call it uh, is prime number. Uh, and all I need to do is say from number import n JIT. And this is the what's going to JIT compile our function. So I'll add this here, uh, NJIT there. And that hasn't done anything yet, but what it will do when I call this is it will JIT compile this function uh, and end up running faster. So if I call this now with the same thing here, again, we get the same uh, is true there, or let's just do a different number just to show it's working here. Uh, and now let's try calling this from Excel uh, and see what the difference actually is. So I'll create a new sheet here called number. Uh, just copy and paste the whole thing. And change this function here to be uh, is prime number. And then drop that down. Get rid of these timings. And let's see how fast that goes. Okay, so 32 milliseconds. That's mm, it's about the same as what it was with uh, Python, to be honest. So. Let's leave that there, 32 milliseconds versus, what do we have here? 33 milliseconds. So, okay, it's a, it's a little bit faster. Let's try, try this again. 32.78, and then number 32.84. So you can see there really isn't much difference here uh, between the actual uh, Python invocation and the number invocation. So even though this function should be a lot faster, we're not really seeing any benefit here. Uh, what's really nice in... Uh, Jupyter is that you can actually time some of these functions using the time it command. So let's just try doing, uh, let's say, try the Python one for a thousand, say. So this is running here. It takes a, a while because it runs it several times to get uh, you know, a good feeling of, of how long it actually takes. And there we go. So 126 nanoseconds, so pretty fast. Uh, and if we try the same thing with the number one, Again, takes a few seconds to calculate because it runs it uh, lots and lots of times. We'll see here, uh, 120, 129 nanoseconds. So actually that kind of confirms that what we saw in, in Excel where the two timings are, are the same. So it's, it's always good to, to actually time this stuff when you're making changes because sometimes you think something's going to be faster but then actually it turns out to be the same. Now there could be various reasons why uh, why number hasn't really been able to optimize this this code very much, uh, but most likely it's going to be that the actual function call itself is what's taking most of the time. Uh, so function calls in Python uh, are kind of relatively slow compared to other languages. Uh, so although number will have JIT compiled some of this code, uh, the actual calling of the function from this time it thing it wouldn't have been able to optimize. Uh, so we're likely seeing uh, the effect of that in these timings, and that's probably why there's not a huge amount of difference between the pure Python one and the number one in this in this instance. 
One area where this type of optimization really comes into its own uh, is on vectorized operations. So this function here is just operating on a single scalar number, uh, but if we could make it so that this function operated on an entire vector of numbers, then we would lose that overhead of having to call the Python function every time, uh, and we should be able to get the code running much, much faster. So number has, uh, has the ability to do that as well, so let's create a new function. So I'll just copy this one. Uh, and rather than using this engine thing, we're going to use uh, vectorize. Now what vectorize will do is take this function, uh, let's just rename this, and make it into a function which rather than just taking a single number, will now take uh, a vector. Oh, and here I think we have to give it some extra information. What's it saying? Uh, okay. So here we need to, because Excel func can't determine the signature of the of the function once it's been vectorized, we have to tell it a bit more about what it's going to take. So we'll tell it it's going to take an numpy array uh, and dimension one and d type integers. Uh, that's still called num, and we'll return a numpy array. Okay, so now we've got this uh, is prize not prime number vectorize function, uh, and rather than calling it with a, a number, we can now call it with an array. So let's try this. So let's just import numpy as mp, create some values to call it with, just to test, and try calling this. There we go. So we've now taken a scalar function uh, using number, vectorized it into something which should be much more uh, much more efficient in terms of how long it takes to run. So let's try calling this from, from Excel now and see what, what's happened. So again, I'll just copy and paste this, create a new one, vectorized. And this time, rather than calling it for every single number, I'm going to have, let's just delete this, one thing here which will be called is prime number vectorize and then now I'm going to pass in this whole input vector and we can see here it's returned the same things uh, it's using 0 and 1 rather than true and false but it doesn't really matter for our case here uh, if we do this sum if again we're still getting 95 so we're still getting the same results as before just presented slightly differently uh, and let's try timing this okay so now you can see that's a lot faster now uh, let's try it again yeah, same again. So six uh, six milliseconds, I just paste this here, versus uh, with number and with Python, we had about 30 milliseconds, and with VBA, we had about 350 milliseconds. Uh, so that's, that's a massive speed up, uh, and that's achieved just by rewriting the function in, in Python, uh, adding a bit of number magic, uh, and then using a vectorized function, we've been able to, to achieve a massive speed up. Working with vectorized functions can have massive performance benefits, uh, especially when dealing with larger data sets. Uh, we're only using about 500 variables here, uh, but if we were to increase that, we'd easily see uh, 100 times speed up or more uh, versus the original VBA function. Obviously in your code, uh, it really depends on the, the type of code that you're writing and the algorithm and all this kind of stuff. Uh, but generally speaking, what I see from working with this stuff day in, day out, uh, is that Python for the kind of numeric computation uh, that people tend to want to use Excel and Python for, using libraries like NumPy and SciPy and Pandas just results in like much, much faster code than writing it in VBA. And also with the benefit of having all of those libraries available, whereas in VBA, you know, you're really uh, writing everything from scratch each time. If you are looking to, to make your own code run faster, uh, the one piece of advice that I would give you uh, is to, to profile as much as you can. Uh, unless you profile, you've got no idea where the time is being spent. Uh, once you start profiling, that becomes obvious and then you know where to focus your efforts. Uh, so I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions at all about how to use Python uh, in Excel using Pixel, then please do get in touch. Uh, and if you want to see more of these videos, then, uh, you know, like and subscribe and all of that and, and leave comments below.